Thank you for calling. This is Stephanie. How can I help you? Hi, I just wanted to leave a comment about the <laughs> vanilla flavor because I saw there was a number on there for any questions or comments. Um, I just wanted to say sure. that it's... Hi guys, the Stimmy check has hit, so time to buy many, many gallons of milk. I'm just kidding, I gave my Stimmy to my mommy. <laughs> Someone put a new air freshener in this car and with all peace and love, I feel like I'm gonna pass away. I've seen so many videos lately of people taste testing certain foods from the drive-thru, from fast food restaurants, whatever, and I think that's amazing, but there's very little food that I'm not allergic to. Last year, I was actually on the hunt on my Instagram page to find a good yogurt. Go follow me on my Instagram, it's at Nicole Raffi. And I was on the hunt for the perfect vegan yogurt and I thought how else can I insert myself into the vegan taste testing sphere other than to taste test oat milk and it seems like America is also very big into oat milk right now considering there's like an oat milk shortage in the country I I don't know you would think that that ship that's stuck in the canal has something to do with it but no it's just people going to Starbucks and getting that brown sugar latte that would definitely make me shit myself. So why don't we go into the most bougiest of grocery stores around me that isn't Whole Foods, but is Wegmans. Because Wegmans has literally everything, except coupons, they don't have fucking coupons. Let's pick up every single oat milk that I can find. My mom might be upset. However, we do have one of those fridges in our garages, like one of the white fridges, you know what I'm talking about. Like some people have an extra fridge in their house. Ours is just for frozen meat and the extra bags of spinach that we buy every single week that no one eats but we just continue to buy every single week and we're like oh, we're gonna eat spinach this week and then we never actually do eat the spinach and now oat milk okay i'm gonna talk to you when i get there so bye bye okay wait before i let you off the hook make sure that you subscribe if you want to be nasty and if not you're disgusting also make sure your bell notifications on so you know every single time i post or else you are gross i just had to say that okay bye i'll see you when i get there bye bye no. Oh my god, you're interrupting. That was very rude of you. I was in the middle of listening to my audiobook because this video is sponsored by Audible. Wow, thank you so much, Audible, for sponsoring today's video. I was listening to Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Untamed is all about women empowerment, finding out who you are, and being your best self. I know, it might already seem like, oh my god, Nicole, you're already so great. How could you get any better? But I know, I ask myself that question every single day. Audible is actually the leading provider in spoken word entertainment all in one place. With Audible, you can find the largest selection of audiobooks, bestsellers, new releases, and even podcasts. Whatever you're looking for, Audible probably has it. And as an Audible member, you get one credit per month into their premium selection. And you'll also get full access into their popular Plus catalog. You'll find thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, guided fitness and meditation, sleep tracks, and podcasts, including ad-free versions of your favorite shows. And it's great because you can find all of this all with Audible. And new members can always try Audible for 30 days for free. So if you want to try Audible, make sure that you visit audible.com slash Nicole Raffi or text Nicole Raffi to 500-500. Thank you, Audible for sponsoring today's video. Okay. Yes, we love double masking. Okay. I'll see you very soon. Oh. Shame on me for thinking that Wegmans, the bougiest of grocery stores, would have a lot of options for oat milk. They used to. Clearly a lot has changed. So now I have to go to the next door, but it's okay because I need gas anyway. Despite me being a gassy girl in general, I am always low on gas in my car if there's anything that you need to know about me. Also not oat milk related, but I got one of these, these Hustle Matcha Energy cans because Chris Clemens always raves about them. Oh, ooh, what if I did a matcha taste test? Listen, I am down to buy a large sum of food if it means I can make a YouTube video out of it. I'm so down. I'm locking my doors. Just, there's a lot of trucks around. I don't trust men in trucks. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. Hi guys, it's the next day. I have a meeting in less than an hour and I am going to piss myself because I'm gonna drink so much oat milk. Ah, I can't wait. This is my nice little, you know. I didn't assemble it that good. It came from Target, okay? Sorry that I don't have a BA test kitchen type of setup for you, but one day maybe I will. Let me tell you all the oat milks that we are reviewing today. Oatly, oat milk, Trader Joe's, oat beverage, because I think they might get sued if they try to call it milk. Planet Oat, original. Planet Oat, Planet Oat, extra creamy. Chobani Oat, vanilla. Oatia yeah, by Silk, Oatia yeah, by Silk, the vanilla kind. Happy Planet, vanilla. Wegmans brand, 
original oat milk, nature's promise oat milk, the barista kind, and muala plant-based oat milk, coconut flavored, which is very weird to me, but anyway. That is a total of 11. That's my favorite number. I didn't even do that intentionally. I just picked up what I saw. I have my glasses ready. I'm reading it off of pure taste, baby, okay? Let's just get started. I will be deciding on my top three at the very end. Let's start with the classic, which is Oatly. I think this is what Starbucks uses, and I think this is the one that supports Trump, in all honesty. Oh, fuck. I spelled it. <laughs> this is why none of my family members take my job seriously. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little bit of a dehydrated girl right now. I didn't drink a lot of water this morning. This is my water intake. I hate the taste of milk, by the way. Did I mention that? <laughs> this is the only time that you will ever see me drinking a glass of milk. I'm not a milk kind of girl. I don't like milk. I don't know if I told you that. <laughs> I'm really glad we did this. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna drink a lot of milk. I don't even like milk. Uh scrumptious i have to say i give it props for having b12 in this i like b12 it's because i'm lacking in it i have zero memory anymore like i can't remember things at all i used to have the best memory ever and now i forget everything you guys are probably sick of me telling this story but i went to the doctor the other week and she's like have more b12 i was like i take a lot of b12 she goes take an omega-3 i was like i i do take an omega-3 i think i'm just gonna slowly forget everything i'm gonna give oatly an eight out of ten yeah. Do I support what they stand for? Like, probably not, no. Trader Joe's non-dairy oat beverage. I love it when brands are not allowed to call it what it really is. A lot of vegan brands can't call things like ice cream or milk because then the non-vegans will get so angry and get, so, ooh. Mm. <laughs> Definitely way more watery than Oatly, but doesn't have a whole ton of flavor. Not very creamy. Unfortunately, I'm gonna give this a five out of 10. Happy Planet, feel good food and drink. I have never seen this brand before in my entire life. You know what I'm just thinking about? How am I gonna finish all these oat milks before they expire? I'm going to be drinking oat milk breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then they have a cute little oat at the bottom with a smiley face. I love that, thank you. Wow, I really like that. This literally tastes like melted vanilla ice cream, but not as sweet, but it's nice and thick. It's really good. I give this an eight out of 10. I really like this. Next up, we have Wegmans Oat Original Oat Milk. I don't have too high of hopes for this one, if I'm being on, Ugh. that is yellow. This is Milky Piss. If you've ever seen Milky Piss, I haven't personally, but this is what Milky Piss would look like. Ooh, I don't feel good about this one. That is disgusting. <laughs> That is so icky. It tastes like the air inside of a elementary school cafeteria. That's the best way to describe it. You know how the bathroom has a certain taste to it? Like just the air, you know what I mean? Like, and you kind of want to hold your breath so that you're not, yeah. It smells like chemicals and child vomit. <laughs> Three, Silk Oat Yeah Oat Milk Plain Delicious. Props to Silk for making good dairy-free stuff in the past. Low-key, I feel like they're kind of falling off though. I don't know, I'm not really a Silk fan. I thought I used to be, but they have competition now. <laughs> this is milky, this is almost too white. Like I'm a little concerned as to why it's that white. Like what kind of bleach did they put in there? Yep, it tastes like Silk. Has a very, very distinct taste to it. This actually does taste a lot like almond milk now that I think about it. If you're an almond milk lover who wants to get into the oat milk scene, maybe this will be a good transition for you. Seven out of 10. I'll give it a seven out of 10 because it's not awful. It's not bad. It's not like fucking elementary school cafeteria air, that's for sure. This next one might be a little bit biased. Chobani oat. I'm obsessed with Chobani oat. I've had this many times. This is no secret. I love this one and I have missed it in my fridge. It's been a minute. I think that this tastes like cotton candy and smells like it too. It's amazing in matcha lattes. How is it on its own? I don't know. Yes, thick, creamy, sure it's white and I, I, I don't know if oat milk should be that white. I am a fan. Bottoms up ladies. Yes, I would drink this on its own, and that's saying a lot. Questions or comments? Call this number. Thank you for calling the Chobani customer loyalty team. Do I have to talk to someone? Well, I kind of want to tell them how good it is. Thank you for calling Chobani. This is Stephanie. How can I help you? Hi, I just wanted to leave a comment about the Chobani oat vanilla flavor because I saw there was a number on there for any questions or comments. Um, I just wanted to say sure. that it's amazing and it tastes like cotton candy and I don't know if that was the intention, but I love it and please never discontinue it. Oh, good. 
good. Yeah, I'm so happy to hear you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, I'll let our team know how much you're enjoying it. It's a favorite of mine, too. Yes, yes, please let them know. Thank you so much. All right, you're very welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's it. And, you know, before I let you go, I'd be happy to get your name and mailing address to send coupons if you'd like. Oh, I'd love that. I love coupons. <laughs> Great. All right, Nicole, I have you here. I'll get coupons mailed right out, okay? Thank you so much. All right, you're very welcome. Have, have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. That was the weirdest fucking thing I've ever done. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> Peace and love to Jabani. Okay, this is getting a 10 out of 10, so. <laughs> Next, let's try the silk oat, yeah, oat milk, the vanilla one. That is almond milk. It's just sweeter than the other oat, yeah. Nothing impressive, it's just almond milk. Like, just say that you don't use real oats in your milk and just go. And I'm giving this one a five out of 10. The next one that I'm gonna be trying is Muala. Plant-based oat milk, unsweetened coconut flavor. I have never heard of this brand, but it claims to have a dash of cinnamon, organic coconut cream, gluten-free oats. Oh my God, it has spots on it, like a little cow. And is its nose an almond? Oh. That's so cute! Oh, thick boy. Ah. This isn't me trying to even be like really funny or anything. Like this is just who the demographic really is for this. This is for the moms who do yoga, who feed their kids all organic food. Their husbands are like chiropractors. They themselves are like dietitians, aura color readers, shops at Whole Foods strictly. Their house smells like essential oils. They include like crystals in their sex life. That is who this oat milk is made for. No initial flavor, extremely big cinnamon and coconut aftertaste. Kind of like water, but kind of really thick. Kind of like really thick water. I can understand why someone would like this, but I don't. This would be really, really good with uh, like cereal. A four out of 10 from me, but like a 10 out of 10 if I was a Whole Foods mom. Nature's Promise, plant-based organic oat milk barista style. I think this is with the, Okay, well, when I shake it, it doesn't make any noise. Oh, oh, ooh. This is what a barista's spit tastes like. Not bad, kind of a little bit of a weird kind of chemically aftertaste, just a little bit. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Planet Oat, oat milk, the unsweetened original kind. I have not had a good experience with Planet Oat. Yeah, yep. It's the piss again. It's the oat milk piss. Ugh. What the? It's sandy. It's fucking thick. This is like oat milk mucus. Three out of 10. Last one for today. Planet Oat Extra Creamy Original. Oh my God, it's just gonna be thicker mucus. <laughs> better, better. Not amazing, but much better. Six out of 10. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Time for the final three of what I deem to be the best oat milks. Number three comes at Miss Oatly. Do we agree with the political views of the brand? No. Is it constantly sold out because of Starbucks? Yes. Is she versatile, a classic? Also, yes. I can understand why it's a fan favorite. It's yummy, it's scrumptious. They also have good ice cream. Do I reach for her? No, cause she is kind of expensive. Coming in at number two. What is this called? Happy Planet Oat Oat Milk Vanilla. I like this. It tastes very healthy. From what I am reading, I th think, I think it has good things. I think it might have good things in it. Scrumptious. I will accept her. However, I never see this in stores. I literally found this in Giant in the little like vegan gluten-free aisle. I'm coming in at number one, the queen herself, Miss Chobanio. I was kind of hoping that maybe I would find another favorite amongst the group of oat milks, but she has truly prevailed. She's scrumptious, she's promising, and she even tastes good in Gigi Hadid vodka pasta. You wouldn't think that cotton candy and Gigi Hadid vodka pasta would go well together, but it does. Okay guys, that wraps up this little oat milk video. Make sure that you leave it a like if you like this video because it helps me out so much. Also leave a comment if you like this whole little vegan review series because I would love to continue them. And if you guys like them, I have absolutely no problem buying food, tasting it on camera for you guys. I literally, that's like a dream of mine. So. Just let me know. Ugh. Also, make sure that you subscribe if you want to be nasty, and if not, you're disgusting. Also, make sure I have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post, or else you are gross, kind of how I feel right now. It really hurts. 
I think it's just, I, I don't know how much oat milk I drank, but I, I'm assuming it's a lot. If you want to follow me on my other social media, like Instagram, Twitter, Tpop, Spotify, it's just at Nicole Raffi. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, it's at Nikki Nasty. I have to go now because my meeting starts very soon. I had to go to the bathroom, but also I just want to send peace and love to the nice Chobani oat lady. I love you. Kisses. Peace and love. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.